Hi, this is Mark from Trip Solo. Uh, today I would like to show you a game called Tiny Epic Pirates. Uh, it's a game uh, released by Gamelin Games and thanks for sending it for review. Uh, this, is, this is one of the games from their uh, Tiny Epic uh, series and the games are just like the name says, uh, they are tiny, they are epic <laughs> and they are, you know, about uh, different things. We had uh, this is uh, pirates and we had dinosaurs, we had uh, uh, fantasy games like uh, Tiny Epic uh, Dungeons. Uh, this one uh, was recently on Kickstarter and um, there was Tiny Epic Galaxies, uh, like, uh, you know, a uh, sci-fi game. And uh, pirates, it's, you know, it's a game about pirates. Uh, it's a game where you have your ship, you have your captain, you have your, you have your crew and you have to, you know, sail um, across the seas, um, you have to trade goods, uh, you can fight uh, with other pirates, you can have yeah, like, you know, sea battles, and in the end you have to bury uh, three treasures, and the first person that uh, manages to do it uh, wins the game. Um, the box is really tiny, as you can see. It's really unbelievable that uh, you, you can fit the, that gaming games uh, could fit a whole game uh, inside this uh, small box uh, because their games uh, they are not really like you know filler games uh, because usually when you have a, a game in a small box like this uh, you, you can think that this is like you know a game that you can play in 10 15 minutes uh, between some bigger games <clears throat> but it's not the case with uh, the tiny epic uh, series because these games are uh, quite advanced uh, when you set them on the table they are not so not so small and uh, I had a chance to play uh, the prototype of uh, Tiny Epic Pirates last year when it was on um, Kickstarter and it was not a you know small short game uh, I played it with uh, uh, two friends and it took us I, I don't remember how long exactly but I think an hour hour and a half so it's definitely not a filler game uh, the idea behind uh, Tiny Epic Games is really cool because uh, first of all, uh, we all have uh, limited uh, space on our uh, you know, shelf at home. <laughs> Probably most of you uh, have a lot of board games and you know, uh, fitting another game is not always easy. Uh, with uh, Tiny Epic Games, uh, you can always fit a you know, game box like this on your shelf. Uh, another cool thing is that uh, these are these are perfect games uh, to take uh, with you when you go like you know on holidays or on a weekend uh, somewhere because you can always throw a game like this in your backpack or in your you know luggage and you don't have to you know carry around games like I don't know Blood Rage or you know a Mage Knight. Uh, you can take one or two tiny big games with you and you know you will have fun on your holidays and they will not take a lot of space in your you know in your backpack so this is a cool idea uh, i will show you what's inside there are really a lot a lot of components uh, you can almost see that the box uh, barely closes so there are tons of things inside um, so let's do the unboxing and i will show you how tiny epic pirates uh, look like inside uh, inside this box. Okay, so let's open Tiny Epic Pirates. As you can see, the box is really small, uh, almost uh, the size of my, you know, the length of my knife. <laughs> uh, this is the deluxe edition. Uh, gaming games on Kickstarter usually, you know, have a regular and deluxe edition of their games. Uh, I think the deluxe editions usually include uh, like a small expansion or something. They are not uh, very different from the regular edition. Uh, the box is uh, not that big and um, you can already see on the box uh, how the game looks like. Mm. And here I like what de defines a tiny epic game. It's, you know, easy entry, high strategy, low downtime, short playtime, higher replayability and small box, as you can see. It's a game for one to four players, uh, 30 to 60 minutes and ages it's 14 plus. <coughs> The box is packed, as you can see here. <laughs> cool box, cool art. Mm, okay, let's open this. Uh, the pirate code. 
<clears throat> I think this is the rule book. 20 pages, but you know, the size of the rule book is not that big. Mm, you have all the components, uh, information how to play the game, you know. Uh, nothing very uh, complicated, probably, I hope. Mm, and you have, you know, solo play, solo setup, uh, how to play, you play against the Automa, mm, I think, uh, am I right? Yeah, I remember that uh, here are some uh, solo cards inside, mm, but we'll see it when we, you know, open the game. And yeah, 20 pages, nothing very complicated. What's this? Ah, okay, this is the, I think, the uh, deluxe expansion. Uh, the small expansion added to the deluxe version of this game. Uh, it's called, uh, you know, Crimson Silver mini expansion. Ah, okay, we have some cubes, floating fortresses, crew cards, and solo mods. Yeah, yeah, cool, small expansion. With some, we can open it if you want. <sighs> We can take a look. Fred Mary, you know, Henry Kid. Okay, some cards, some indeed, some wooden fortresses, and some small crew cards. We'll have more of this uh, when we uh, get more of the regular elements. The art is really, really nice in this game. We have all the you know different pirates with their abilities. Okay, so this is the expansion and what do we have here okay we have ton of wooden uh, tokens mm. we can open it as well uh, the cubes are like different resources like you know coffee and rum that you can uh, trade in the game and this this funny you know, token here is a sure shot token that helps you in some naval, you know, battles. Uh, really, really nice. And here we have some meeples for your, you know, crew and for your captain that you use on your player mat. Mm, and some, you know, treasure chest that you have to bury on the, you know, islands and on different places in the game. The first person who buries uh, free treasures wins the game. I really like that there are, you know, th that these elements are like uh, uh, wooden ones. You don't have like, you know, cheap cardboard tokens, but you have really, really nice, you know, wooden elements. So this is cool because you can already see that the production quality is uh, quite big. Yeah, it's nice. Whoa. And what do we have here? <laughs> we have, wow, we have all the ships. Uh, some are the player ships, uh, some are the, okay, let me show you, uh, the merchant ships that, you know, that they swim across the sea that you can, you know, attack them and rob them, uh, sink them. Mm. Cool, 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 small ships. Merchant ships and, you know, the, the navy ship. This one will chase you and will try to sink your ship. And here we have all the not uh, very uh, familiar with naval names, but these are the masts that you have to, you know, put onto your uh, ships. Cool. And again, cool that they included the small ships. They could have just included like, you know, cardboard ships, but uh, yeah, they are nice. They look <laughs> really fun when they are put on the on the map. We even have some small uh, metal coins. They are like uh, they are called doublons, I think. Wow, they're really metal. Cool. Uh, you use them to track how much gold you have uh, in the game mm, on your you know, player map. But they are like nice, nice, made from metal. Cool. Mm. And here we have a lot, a lot of tokens. And this is nice, but they are already punched. This is something, you know, surprising because in, I think almost all my games, when you get a game, you have to punch everything. And it's already, you know, pre-punched. 
<laughs> this is great. First of all, the box is not, you know, bigger because usually when you have the, you know, cardboard with all the tokens to punch, they add some height to the box. And secondly, you know, it saves you time. You can open the game and play right away. Mm. Nice, nice. These tokens are some things you can discover on the map. They give you some, you know, benefits like additional sure shot tokens, maybe some additional gold or you know, some movement. And uh, here we have the dice uh, that you use for, uh, you know, for battle. And they are really, really nice. I remember that on the Kickstarter mm, you could get some. Uh, even more, you know, beautiful die, uh, like um, they looked like, uh, like I think some skeletons with some um, you know, pirate, pirate skull, uh, some bones. They were cool, but these, these are nice, really nice colors. Mm, I could, I could have D6 like this in my collection, more of them <laughs> because they look really, really nice. Uh, you can already see how much, you know, uh, things we have here. And uh, here we have the, the cards. Uh, the box may be tiny, but uh, all the elements are not that, you know, tiny. You have plenty, plenty of them. And here you have the captains that we can use in the game. Mm. Okay, here are the crew member that you can recruit. They have different abilities and they add uh, different die values uh, that help you, you know, uh, fight and sink other ships. Again, a lot, a lot of, uh, you know, crew card. So it adds a lot to replayability in this game. Mm. Here we have different ships. They have different, you know, power and they give you different uh, reputation and gold when you sink them. Uh, the first ships are not that, you know, uh, hard to well, hard to defeat uh, but the more ships you, you know you sing in the game the last one are really really you know difficult to to, to fight mm, okay so small cards we even have a bag this is nice <laughs> with tiny epic pirates logo uh, so you put uh, all the um, resource tokens in it uh, so when you uh, get a you know resource uh, you can pull it from the back. So, nice. They thought about everything. And here we have the big cards. <coughs> uh, these are the cards uh, that are used for, you know, for uh, all the players. You have, you know, player mats. You have different actions here. Uh, the actions are uh, tokens. You put different, you know, tokens on it. Uh, randomly, so every time you play the game, you have uh, different, like, you know, set of the same actions but in different order, and you move your captain around this wheel to perform different actions. Uh, the legend mat to track your goal, to track your, you know, reputation. You can be a like, sea dog pirate, corsor, swashbuckler, buccaneer, and the dread pirate, a legend. <laughs> Okay, cool. And this is the, uh, you can say the map. Mm, you have, uh, I think, 16 of these uh, map tiles that you randomly uh, put on your table. And then you have the whole, like, you know, sea with islands uh, on your mm, on your table. And you move your ships around this. Mm, you have some ports, you have some, you know, villages, uh, places where you can trade goods. Uh, <clears throat> Some, you know, coast where you can hide from the uh, navy ship. Really, really nice. Mm. The quality, the card quality is also cool. Mm. Yeah, great. So you see, instead of a game board, you get this map. But if you, uh, you know, put like uh, four times four, uh, like a grid on the table, it's not really that small. So uh, thanks to some clever ideas, like, you know, mm, creating a game board from cards. Uh, gaming Games manages to put all the game in this, you know, such a small box. And this is like a, uh, I think, marketplace card. And here you can uh, sell some goods. They have different uh, value. And 
um, you need money to you know to get the treasures and to bury the treasures on on different places in the game uh, so you can you know win the game the first person who buries uh, free treasures wins the game so as you can see a lot of components uh, mm, a lot of cool things you have even some metal coins and you know some cool uh, ships and everything and pre you know punch tokens that's awesome uh, so this is tiny epic pirates um, you can visit my instagram uh, facebook twitter you know all the links will be in the uh, description of this video i will post my, my review of this game and i will of course upload some photos and i will show you how the game looks like when it's uh, you know set up on the table because it looks really you know epic with all the ships and you know the map and tokens and everything so see you later and uh, thanks for watching bye